I'm often asked after I've done a sketchboard story, how do you do that special writing, the ladder lettering? And usually I say, it's really easy to work out. You can work at it on a piece of paper. You just draw yourself a, a ladder on the side and then you can begin to, just a few dots with a, a pen, you know, a nice thick pen to put in the letters like that. But I'll show you how to do it on the actual sketchboard itself. I try to make the letters roughly the size of a playing card so that they're nice and big and easy to read. And I'm just using just ordinary poster paint. So here we, here's go. How's how we do it? So A, B, and you try to use as few strokes as possible. The fewer strokes that you use, the quicker and the more magical the effect is as it kind of jumps out. So A, B, C, D. You should just take the corners off. E, F. G, H. Now there's just a few letters where you have uh, the, the boxes being slightly bigger or slightly smaller. So I is one of the, the first ones that we come across. I, we don't put any strokes in, so you make it a much smaller box. So that's the I, it's already there. I, J, K, L, and M is another one where it's better if you get the uh, box just a little bit bigger and then you can put, I put in just a little nick there and then two L, M, N, O, O, P is, take that one out, P, Q I'm going to come back to because that's a little bit more difficult. I've never ever used a Q in all the years I've been doing storytelling. So O, P, Q. R S T U V is much the same as the U except you take those corners out U V W is another wide one so I put a little bit down the bottom U V W X I put the Y somewhere wrong away. X Y is this one, and then I always leave it open so that if I do make a mistake, I can add another letter or take another letter out. And I just left one there for the Z, and the Z is the opposite of the S. It's got to go the other way around. So there's the Z comes in there, which just leaves us with the Q, which I think is a really weird one. So it's a line across there, a little tiny bit there, and there you have your cue. And so that's it. It's as, as simple as that. Just lots of practice, which I do on a piece of paper, and then transferring it up to the board if you want to tell a story.